Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. As you can see, this isn't the normal scene for a team hard racing vlog. We're normally at a racetrack with a load of cool cars going past us, etc, etc. I'm actually currently sat in a car park down in Kent. We've got to pick up a few last bits before the weekend starts. Today is Thursday. It's currently 9 a.m. We've got to pick up a few bits, like I say, before we head to the track to meet up with the rest of the gang to set up for this weekend's event. We've got 200 guests. It's the biggest event of the season for us. Um, and we want to take you along for the journey just to see how much effort goes into setting up what you see come Sunday, whether you're with us in the VIP, watching from the grandstands or watching live on ITV4 from the comfort of your own home. It's a massive, massive operation for us, a four day event. And let's get straight into it to the first pickup. And then we're going to go and meet Tony, who is going to be taking us to the circuit to meet the rest of the gang. So let's go. Okay, so we are outside Lakeside Printing in Tunbridge, Kent. This is our print supplier that do all our posters, etc, etc. So when you get your autographs from Jack and the gang, they come from here. Just going to pop inside. They know I'm here already. We're here just to collect a few last minute things that we need for the car. Um, we also get all of our stickers done here from this person. He'll appreciate the shout out. Decals Lab, the link to both Lakeside and Decals Lab is in the description below. So make sure you check them out if you ever need anything. Great service as always. This is what we need. This is a small, small piece for Aaron's car, the massive AirTech sticker that's on the side of the car. That's the last little bit. Um, unfortunately, we had to replace that after damage in the last event. Now, on to Tony. Let's check in with him when we get to his place and then off to Silverstone. Right. We are en route to Silverstone. I've got the big man Tony next to me. He's actually chauffeuring me to the chat, which is a nice change. Uh, it's normally me driving. But Tony, what, are you, what do you do on Thursdays and Fridays before the weekend starts? So obviously, first thing first, get to the circuit. And Silverstone is a relatively local one, just over 100 miles. Um, so it's not too bad, just a couple of hours. Traffic seems to be okay. Um, today is park up and set up day. So what will happen today, all the guys will be setting the garages up for the weekend. Um, the VIP team will be setting the awning up for all our guests the weekend. We're going up today because it's a very, very big weekend for us. I've got quite a few meetings myself this afternoon with a few people um, and obviously to oversee all what's going on because like I say, we've got the double awning on the Team Hard hospitality truck. We've got the laser on in to get up there. We've got lots of important guests from, from laser. So combined, we've got around 250, 300 guests just in touring car the weekend. Plus we've got the pool shears and, and that out as well. So it's gonna be a busy weekend. So the sooner we get there, the better. We need to be there for around lunchtime today. Currently on schedule, it's 11 a.m. So we're not doing too bad. Good. And so you stay at the track, obviously. We'll be staying there as well make sure you check out the MTV crib video that we're going to be making ah. on Tony's new, I would call it an RV, but it's not really an RV, it's more like a mega truck. It's Transformers. Anyway, you'll check that I'm out and then home. you'll check that out in one of the inside info videos that we'll be releasing after this one. So for now, we're going to carry on to Silverstone. We're probably going to swap over. I'm probably going to start driving because I think Tony's got a few bits he needs to sort out. And then we'll check in when we're starting to put up the garages, the awning, etc., at the track. So here we are, Silverstone. The lads have just parked up and they're just unloading all the trucks. So I'm gonna take you into the garage. This is what it looks like before. Lovely tunes. Danny, we up. <laughs> so look at this, completely empty. And in around four or five hours time, this is gonna look proper ready for the BTCC weekend. It's a special weekend, this one, where the cars are actually parked backwards into the garage so the fans can have a look through the paddock here and come have a look at the guys work on them, which is pretty cool. We've done it last time in 2019, 
Um, and in that event, we actually won the race. So fingers crossed that happens again. And the good thing this weekend as well, so the garage again, the trucks, the VIP guest awning is actually right next door in here. There's Tony's lovely motor. Um, the awning will be right here. So we'll check back in in a few hours and see how the progress is getting on. Oh, just checking in, a bit of a progress update. It's now 3.26. We've probably been doing this for two, two to three hours now, including a little half an hour stop off for lunch. Um, just gonna show you how the guys have got on. I'm currently in this empty garage at Silverstone. They are massive for the BTCC. So really, really love that because sometimes we go to some absolutely tiny garages which can't actually be used to fit a car in. So yeah, let's show you how the guys have gone so far. Make this one short and sweet. Right, progress looking slow on hospitality, but that is a big, big job. We actually take about three days to get that bang on ready for the weekend. Um, but the guys are doing a great job nonetheless just to get the actual structure up. The trucks in terms of the BTCC looking nice and sharp. We've also got a junior there. So AJ is making his debut in the series. Just turned 15, I believe. So look out for him for the future. As you can see, looking, looking fresh with the, the brand new boarding for this season. Obviously all back to front, like I said earlier, which is a bit strange to see but that is what it's like at Silverstone for fan engagement, which obviously we love. All the chance of Tom, say hello. hello. Oh, don't see that, it's naughty. Charlie, say hello. Oh, he's so miserable, that guy, anyway. So then we're into Nick's and Aaron's garage. The big TVs are going up for this one. We've got, like I said, 200 guests. We need somewhere for them to be able to watch the action as part of the perks of being a partner. They can watch it with us live in the garage and see all of it unfold. So good progress to be made. This is pretty much done now. Um, so we'll check in a few hours and hopefully see the finished article. I'm going to end this clip on Jamie's face. Hi, Jamie. So time now is 6.05. The garages are pretty much done. There's a few little bits left to do tomorrow, but the boys are now heading home. Well, I say heading home, back to the hotel. Shout out, Glengetty. Hope the new baby's going, or well, your new life with a new baby is going well. And we are basically all ready to go tomorrow. Also, some shiny gold quick fit stickers. I believe it's 50 years of Silverstone or something. Um, so celebrating that this weekend which would be cool so we will tune back in tomorrow uh, and then we'll find out what happens on a test or shakedown day so the car is going to be out on track later on in this afternoon so we can show you what happens there catch you later so good sleep in this monster next to us Jack last night it's now 10 10 in the morning just finished going through the plan. As you can see, top secret, you have to wait for all the content to come out. Um, so our new media colleague, Lucy, who has replaced Zoe, who's left us for Pastures New, is off to shoot a load of cool TikTok stuff. She's actually sat next to me, and then she's gonna be on her way. Um, so that's what we're gonna be getting up to today. Obviously the guys are gonna be continuing to work on the car, prepping them for the weekend. We've got the Porsches and the Sinetta Junior out on the track as well and it's just a very, very busy day. And the sun is shining, so it's just lovely to be here. And I don't really know what else to say. So, I'm gonna take you for a progress update um, in about a couple of hours, see where the guy's at in preparation for shakedown this afternoon. Is time for shakedown. Here he is. Buzzing for the weekend. Good man. 
So shakedown is about to take place. All the drivers are here, as you can see, the garage is a lot busier. Even the engineers are here now, ready for the weekend. First, last to show up, first to leave they are. But all ready, all good. We've got Jack Mitchell in there. Lucy's doing her TikTok stuff. Very good at that. Even though this is literally just a session to sort of run down the car and make sure that all's good and all is working, there's still a bit of panic and a bit of excitement that brews because this is the first taste of how the car's handling here at Silverstone. And as you can see, everyone is ready to take part in the session. Tom, how long's the session? How long's shakedown? 20 minutes. So we have 20 minutes to make sure these cars are firing on all cylinders, ready for tomorrow's practice and qualifying session. So, very last moments here before we all start going off out onto the track and then I'll meet you track side for when the cars do their practice starts in a few minutes time. And we're gonna end on a video of Nicholas Hamilton. down in the pits we've just come from the pit wall all the guys watching the cars go past we've been making a few changes here a few system checks going on like i said um, here comes jack mitchell he's heading back out so yeah check it out like i say it's all about just making sure the car is working um ready for the practice sessions tomorrow uh, new for this season this due to covid mainly um, and to help reduce costs. We used to have to go to an airfield, uh, a designated airfield every single time, pre-weekend. But now, um, we pretty much do it at every circuit now, a Friday shakedown, um, just to save a little bit of costs. Um, yeah, so all's good. Lovely Friday afternoon here at Silverstone. Um, ex BTCC team on the there, Jake Hill. Uh, and yeah, so this is Shakedown. We're checking with the guys at the end of the session. So we're here at Scrutineering at Silverstone and what they are looking to check is the ride height and weight of the car. We have got a minimum ride height of 80 millimetres and minimum weight of 1270 kilos. So what they'll do just now is weigh the cars without the driver and then the driver gets weighed separately. So your, your total weight, driver, no fuel is 1270 kilograms. So we've just finished shakedown and we just do our casual checks which is checking the ride height and checking the base weight of the car before going into the race weekend, making sure everything is legal and then we'll go back, set down the car, make sure that the car is ready for FP1 and um, yeah that's about it really. So it's now Friday night everything is finally set up and ready to go tomorrow the cars are shaken down the cars are scrutineered and we are ready to go racing tomorrow we've got obviously the qualifying day practice day and then the big day on sunday race day can't wait for that but we will be checking that out in the next vlog so if you've enjoyed this one like subscribe all the usual stuff and we'll see you next time